Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can hook an L29 3D motor driving IC with an ESP32 board to control a DC motor. Also, how to increase the current supplying capacity of L29 3D with a simple hack. Let's get started. You're gonna need the following things for this project. ESP32 development board. I'm using VMOS Lowland D32 Pro version 2. DC motor, L29 3D IC, some jumper wires, and a breadboard. L29 3D is a quad triple half H bitch driver which is designed to provide bi directional drive current of up to 600 mA at voltage from 4.5V to 36V. It can be used to drive inductive load such as relays, solenoid, DC and bipolar stepping motors. But they are mostly used to drive DC motor as they are cheap and easily available. One downside of using them is its low current providing capability. It can at most provide 1 ampere to a 12V DC motor which is not enough to drive it properly. As a result, people generally discard it and choose L29A10 motor driver which can provide current up to 2 ampere. L29A10 is a great motor driver but its main IC is not easily available as L29 3D. So using it on a breadboard is out of the question if you don't use AliExpress or Banggood to buy these spare ICs. Here's a solution for tweaking the current output of L29 3D H-Bridge IC. Just solder two L29 3D and parallel stack upon one another. By doing this, the current of L29 3D will increase twice and you will be able to drive much powerful motor with it. Here's the pinout for L29 3D along with its pin function. Read its datasheet for more info. Link is in video description. I'm using the small micro DC gear motor which costs around 6 to 10 dollars. They are small and powerful so can, they can be implemented in small robot projects. I'm planning to build a 4 wheel robot myself with an ESP32 as main controller and L293 d as motor driver. Generally people use an Arduino Uno to drive these H bridges IC for making robot projects but that thing is old now. Why not use an ESP32 which offer lots of PWM pin, Wi-Fi connection and so much space for your code. In order to use an ESP32 with an Arduino IDE, go to this GitHub page and follow the installation process. I don't think it would be a problem as the installing process is well documented. Enable 1 and 2 to GPIO 14, 1A to GPIO 27, 2A to GPIO 26, ground to ground. Connect VCC1 and VCC together and hook them with USB pin of Lowland 32. Connect it with a 5V or VCC of any generic ESP32. This connection is meant to be especially for this micro DC motor as it runs on 5V. If you want to drive a 12V motor then connect everything according to this scheme. VCC2 to 12V battery for powering the motor, VCC1 to VCC of ESP32 for powering the L293 d chip, not the motor. Upload the given code. You can download the code and additional information about this project from its hackster page. The test code will rotate the motor in one direction for two seconds. Then stop for 1 second and change the direction of motor and rotate it for 2 seconds. And this cycle goes on and on. So what's next? The next thing is to design a full-fledged breakout board for a robot project which will have total 4 L293 d IC for driving 4 DC micro motor. I will add a jumper between VCC1 and VCC2 so I can switch the power supply to 5V and 12V for driving small micro motors and big 12V motors. Anyways, leave a comment if you run into some issues. If this video was helpful then hit that subscribe button, leave a like or a comment and share this video. 
and i'll see you guys next time peace out